Um, uh, question slash review on Quenda, I guess. Um, just an update on my Quenda journey. I suffered fibromyalgia for 10 years and managed pain pretty well without medications. But I've had to leave my job and change my lifestyle. Um, I was at the point of taking seriously strong drugs, drugs in February this year as my pain was getting worse and worse. Instead, I started taking Quenda Ultimate Fiber. Woo, well done. That's a good choice. Um, within the first couple of weeks, my chronic pain had stopped and my brain fog lifted. I started feeling more energized and more like the vivacious person I used to be. I stuck to the protocol religiously. Well done. Um, so seven months on, still pain-free, more energy, and although I haven't lost weight, I do actually look different. I think all the inflammation and bloating has gone. Um, I also have hypothyroidism, which unfortunately the Quenda hasn't helped with in this respect. I'm guessing that the thyroid damage has already been done prior to diagnosis as I was very poorly and my body was shutting down without a functioning thyroid. Um, however, I'm delighted with my results as I have no pain. Um, it's been some journey for sure and I'm still taking Quenda every few days as, an in, as I inherited two more containers from a family member. I will continue to keep checking my thyroid function, blood results, but was wondering what advice you may have going forward um, once I finish the ninth tub. Thank you, Adele. Um, yeah, I'll get into that. Oh, hey, Susie. <laughs> Always a pleasure to know you're here. Um, yeah, so you want to know about anything else that's affecting the thyroid, I'm assuming. So... Adele, um, when it comes to thyroid, we also need to look at like iodine levels. Like, um, as you're probably well aware, like iodine helps you make like your thyroid hormones and stuff. So if you're low on iodine, it um, it like correlates with um, yeah poor functioning um, hypothyroidism. So basically, you want to make sure your iodine levels are good. And if you're getting your blood done, obviously that will come up. Um, so make sure iodine, selenium, all the mineral levels are correct um with you saying that um you wanted to lose some weight um yeah obviously and you took the quenders to try to lose some weight and you said you're obviously looking better less bloated um but the scales aren't saying anything different so obviously what that can be is when um you get rid of cellulite and replace it with muscle muscle weighs more than fat anyway so the scales might not be saying a difference but you could have less body fat and obviously you're less bloated and um, yeah, feeling better for that. But because you mentioned losing weight and um, hypothyroidism, I have to mention like if you've been really dieting a lot, um, not putting enough calories, nutrients, protein, carbs into your body, um, that can also create hypothyroidism because you're lacking nutrients and the energy for your body to function properly. So make sure you are getting adequate um, calorie intake, at least your daily recommended calories and getting um, at least one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. Um, mm, 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 yeah, iodine function, function and then iodine levels. And then lastly, you want to um, make sure you're not having fluorinated water because um, although it's not like, Although the studies say if you have more fluoride, it doesn't mean you have more um, thyroid issues. There is a there is a link between more fluoride and having thyroid issues. So if you get a good water filter that takes out the fluoride out of the water, obviously um, have toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride in. I think that would really help your thyroid as well. So make sure you're moving your body, eating right, doing all the stuff that makes you healthy anyway. Um, so now you've done the Quenda and seen great results, um, just continue that. So it's just, yeah, move your body, stay hydrated, eat good foods. Um, <laughs> yeah, a bit of deep breathing before you have your meals and stuff like that, just to calm your system. Just all the standard stuff to um, make you, all the standard stuff that would make you healthy anyway. So um, it's great that you've sorted out your fibromyalgia and... Um, yeah, going forward, um, if you ever feel like you're getting fibromyalgia symptoms, again, that's normally correlates with uh, constipation is what I've seen. So if you feel like you're getting a bit more constipated and a bit more fibromyalgia, you know the Quenda's always there to bring you back whenever you need it. Or if um, you're fine for the next year or so, um, 
I like to do a cleanse whenever I'm getting a little bit more symptoms, but like generally you can do it once a year, um, once every two years or whenever you feel like you need it, that's um, best. Now you know how good your body can feel. Um, when it stops feeling so good, it's probably time for another um, top up with Quenda or another cleanse again.